Hello, everyone. This is Michael. In this video, um, we will talk about the PCB footprint library in Kika. Okay. So, um, previous we have talked about the schematic, but when you uh convert the schematic uh into a actually PCB ball, you need to create the PCB footprint or use the uh, default PCB footprint library. So let's take a look uh, what in the PCB footprint library, okay? So this is a PCB uh, footprint edit, and let's open it. So this is the interface of the uh, footprint edit. Let's take a look at the uh, default library has what kind of the uh, footprint, okay? So let's open the footprint viewer, which is here, footprint viewer, okay? This is the uh, footprint viewer. So it will tell you what the default library in in the software. So this is the library for all kinds of uh, footprint. So lots of. This is the battery holder. You, you click here, and we should. Uh, it will show the. Um, Footprint in this library have, has what kind of footprint? Let's take uh, any one of it. So this is uh, a coin cell holder. It's very beautiful, huh? So let's just different, different uh, footprint package for the coin size cell. This is for AAA battery. It's one. Uh, one a, a battery holder. This is for two. Okay, this is for two. This is for three. Okay, so this is a uh, different size. So this is uh one by twelve millimeter. One by twelve millimeter. Okay. So you will see this is very uh beautiful, beautiful. This is button. So this is switch button. Okay. And this is capacitor. This is buzzer. This is capacitor. So lots of capacitor. Uh, this is very uh, standard zero, zero, four, zero, two. This is no silk one. This is silk one. Okay. And uh, so this is the capacitor. This is SMD a uh, package. This is through hole. So will be. Uh, there is two through through hole pin. Okay, here. So this is connector. There's lots of different connector. You will notice here. Actually, this is the company name. So uh, this connector, this connector is exactly the product. This is the product name, and this is a, a company name. So if you um, use uh, uh, exactly same product from this company, you can directly use the uh, uh, footprint package. Footprint, okay. So this is different company, okay. You will see this different company. This is HTMI, okay. Uh, this is also one company sale, which for the HDMI connect, okay. So this is a USB, USB, and this is crystal. This is crystal, different. So there are lots of, um, this is LED, this is a, a very, very standard one, LED inductor. Okay, so this is a, uh, uh, default footprint package in the default library. 
And if we want to create our old library, um, of course, because they will have some special components which you could uh, could not find it in the default library. How we do it? We need to create our old library to save the special package uh, which will be using our uh, certain project. Okay, so let's try to open um, one of it. Uh, one uh, footprint in the default package and save it into our old uh, library. Okay, so uh, we will choose this uh, capstan. Okay, so uh, this is very standard one. So we choose this one to uh, save the default footprint in our old library. Okay. So uh, let's see how we do it. So the first thing is like the uh, sigmatica components. We need to select a library, okay? Select an active library. And we will to, um, you can directly select it or you can field it uh, like the capacitor. So you can filter it. So we select it. Okay. So now we select select it. But this is a read only one. Okay. Read only one. We needed to um uh, find out find one specific footprint in the library. Okay. So we load the footprint from library. Uh, then it's uh several ways you can to load the footprint you can search by uh, the keyword keyword and uh, uh, you can search by key keywords like 0402 search okay so you will see it here so it will show here or you can do some other things, some other way. You list all, and you will list all of it. So you also can select it. And you also can uh, select by browser. So this is, uh, you also can select it. So it's lots of way to select one footprint from a library from default library so this is active library this is this one and we will create one uh, customized library which is our old library how we do it okay so we can um save so we will use this command create new library and save the current footprint okay so so and um, before you um, create the library, you need to uh, create a folder. So let's say we create a folder, this folder under this uh, uh, disk. So we create this folder already and we will choose it from here, browser. And this is D folder, D driver, and this is uh, keycap. This is the Sigmatic library. We will choose our uh, PCB library, okay? So this is a PCB library. So we select the folder. And we need to input the library's uh, folder's name. It will, uh, uh, let's say, this is my library, okay? Okay, so when you create it, let's what file will be into the folder. You will get this folder and this under the uh, under this path. Okay, get this folder. Let's take a look at what inside. So this is uh, one uh, component, one uh, footprint is already inside under the folder. Okay. 
so we already save it uh, let's take a let's use the uh, um, browser to take a look at the the library is already fact or not create or not okay so let's take a look let's use the browser uh, footprint viewer okay so you will find here you will uh you will not see our library in this list uh, the reason is like the like the sigmatic components, we also need to edit the path to the system that the software can uh, find the, our old library. So we will use this library manager. So this is a manager. Uh, we will click this button and we will go to edit footprint library in the uh, software so files on my computer okay so we will choose the uh, we will choose the folder so uh, it is d driver and uh, it is uh, here this is a pcb footprint library this is uh, uh, a sigmatic components library okay we choose and next and the next finish so you will see here this is a, a library path and this is a, a plugin type and uh, you will notice the one more thing is here it actually can edit the eagle if you use eagle before you can edit the eagle library into the keycap okay okay so this uh, we will to do some describers. So this is my library. Okay. So so that's it. We save. It. We can click OK. Now let's to uh, use the viewer to see browser library browser. Okay, let's go down here. Uh, we needed to click here and then click here it's here so this is my library you click here so this is the uh, library we create by ourselves it's a customized library and it has one components, one footprint here. So next time you can open this library and uh, create your own footprint, your special footprint. Okay. So uh, next video, we will create a customized uh, footprint for our special uh, components. Okay. That's it. Um, I'm Michael. Uh, uh, thank you for your.